the branch of chemistry which deals with the study of reaction rates and their mechanisms is called chemical kinetics the rate of a reaction is defined as change in molar concentration of reactant or product per unit time these are the four factors which affect the rate of a reaction nature of reactant concentration of reactant temperature and presence of catalyst hello everyone this is harshita bhava sir from vidya shram pu college temple of excellence today i am going to start a new lesson called chemical kinetics in current session we'll discuss about introduction of chemical kinetics rate of a chemical reaction in that average rate of a reaction instantaneous rate of a reaction factors which affect the rate reaction dependence of rate on concentration rate constant of a reaction and characteristics of rate constant these are the small small concept but very much important to understand the overall reaction mechanism first we'll think what is chemical kinetics the branch of chemistry which deals with the study of reaction rates and their mechanisms is called chemical kinetics chemical kinetics is a branch of chemistry which deals with reaction rates and factors affecting the reaction rates mechanisms of the reactions about complete study or complete gaining the knowledge of chemical reaction will be called it as chemical kinetics and factors influence the rate of reaction also very much important in this chapter like temperature concentration of reactant and also concentration of product nature of reactant everything is very much important based on the speed of reaction there are three types based on speed there are reactions are three types slow reaction fast reaction and moderate speed reaction okay slow reaction means very slowly it will happen like corrosion of iron or rusting of iron fast reaction means if melting of ice or any kind of fast reaction will be happening moderate reaction means speed will be moderate not like very much fast or not like very much slow but one thing you have to understand by economical way in the perspective of economical way some of the industries or many of the industries will change the speed of reaction because so many reactions will take many time but understanding the optimum conditions and factors affecting the rate of a reaction we can change the speed of reaction without changing the steps or without changing the mechanisms of reaction okay it is a economical factor of industries that is the one application of chemical kinetics next we'll see rate of a chemical reaction the rate of a chemical reaction is defined as the change in molar concentration of any of the reactant or any of the product per unit time rate means in the chemical reaction as i told many times rate is nothing but time okay the rate of a reaction is defined as change in molar concentration of reactant or product per unit time in the given unit time the molar concentration of reactant can be changed and product can be changed in given unit time okay there are two types of rates of reaction that is average rate of reaction and instantaneous rate of reaction we'll see one by one now average rate of reaction it is the change in concentration of any reactant or any products per unit time okay one mole of reactant r produces one mole of the product p if r1 concentration of r1 and concentration of product 1 are the concentration of r and p respectively at t time and r2 and p2 are their concentrations of at time t2 okay means usually we'll take some mole of reactant to pro to form product of some mole okay at given or at per unit time what will happen p1 and if you take p1 and p2 or r1 and p2 is at given time 1 and r2 and p2 will be at given time 2 and difference between time is nothing but t2 minus t1 that is what here showing difference in reactant r2 minus r1 means molar concentration of r2 minus molar concentration of r1 similarly in the product also and what will be the p equivalent to p equivalent to delta p2 minus delta 
P1 divided by T2 minus T1 with respect to product. With respect to reactant, what will happen? R2 minus R1 divided by T2 minus T1. Rate of disappearance of reactant that is decrease in concentration of R at given time taken that is delta into R changes in reactant by given time. To take this or to arrival of this expression, this expression is required means concentration of R2 minus R1 divided by T2 minus T1 change in reactant divided by change in time. Usually what will happen? The concentration will decrease in reactant side and the concentration will decrease in product side. Okay, that's why in the reactant, see here, negative sign can be expressed. In the product side, what will happen? Increase in concentration of product time taken, divided by time taken. See here, positive sign because here concentration of product will be increased in that time. So, rate will be equivalent to concentration change divided by time taken. Okay, concentration change means it may be decreased or it may be increased. Usually in the reactant side, concentration will be decreased. In the product side, concentration will be increased. That's why that sign notation and changes you have to observe and you have to learn. This is about average rate reaction. See here at time 1, concentration will be at C1 and here concentration is C2 and at the time, dp minus dt is the slope overall slope minus overall average is going to decreased so delta p minus delta t next for example we have taken a some moles of reactants and some moles of product is going to form minus 1 by a this is one mole of a and at time and also this is for b and this is going to form c and d so here minus sign here positive sign this is one more example with a real example that is hydrogen iodide which is a product will form hydrogen and iodine okay product two and here reactant to products one reactant is given and products are two and next is instantaneous rate of reaction it is a rate of change of concentration of any reactant or product at particular instant of time Average means we have seen many steps like at one step one change will be seen another step another change means the steps of changes series you can observe that's why average rate of reaction in instantaneous rate of reaction means within a fraction the change will be happen so here if you see in this reaction we have not written in delta delta means the overall changes after that we are giving one step. But here sudden change or instantaneous change with given time. So we are writing small d. Okay. Other things are one and the same. And for the reaction A and B that reactants will going to form C and D at the instantaneous rate can be expressed. Units of rate of reaction. The rate of a reaction is expressed in mole per liter per second. Average means overall change can be seen in molar concentration at per unit time. This is the sudden change or instantaneous change at a particular instant of time. At the particular instant of change, the molar concentration will be changed. Next, factors which affect the rate of reaction. Nature of reactant, concentration of reactant, temperature and presence of catalyst. These are the four major factors which affect the rate of a reaction. The reactions which involving the Polar and ionic substances are quite fast where those involving covalent compounds are much slower. Okay. The reactions involving polar, you know what are polar compounds and which are ionic substances. If it is in the reactants, polar or ionic substances are present, the reaction rate will be fast. If the covalent compounds are present in the reactant side, the reaction will be slower. Concentration of reactant. In general, the rate of reaction increases on increasing the concentration of reactants. When the concentration of reactant is increasing, obviously the rate of reaction will be increasing because of molecules collision. The probability of molecular collisions will be more. So, rate of reactions will be 
greater when concentration of reactant is higher. Next temperature, the rate of reaction usually increases on increasing the temperature. For most of the homogeneous reactions, the rate becomes double for each 100 rising temperature. Usually, the rate of reaction increases in increasing the temperature. Presence of catalyst. A catalyst provides an alternate path with a lower energy barrier and thus enables the larger number of reactant molecules to cross it and to take a part in the reaction. Therefore, a catalyst increases the rate of reaction. Catalyst is a substance which alters the rate of reaction without changing its state. Okay. So, usually the catalyst will increase the rate of a reaction. These are the four factors which affect the rate of a reaction. Nature of reactant, concentration of reactant, temperature and presence of catalyst. Next, dependence of rate on concentration, rate law. The representation of rate of reaction in terms of concentration of the reactants is known as rate law. Means the representation of rate of a reaction. How do you represent the rate of a reaction in terms of concentration of reactants is known as rate law. It is also called as rate equation or rate expression. We also call it as rate equation or rate expression. We will find out now what is rate expression and rate constant. Expression in which reaction rate is given in terms of molar concentration of reactants with each term raised to some power which may or may not be same as the stoichiometric coefficient of the reacting species in a balanced chemical equation. Expression how we will write usually some moles of reactant we have taken, some moles of product has been produced in the reaction. So, rate expression will be written in terms of molar concentration of reactant. Okay. Consider a general reaction A moles of that reactants A and B and some moles of C and D. What is this small A, B, C, D represent? Those are the stoichiometric coefficients of reactants and products. The rate law expression of the reaction is rate is directly proportional to the concentration of reactant that is concentration of A and concentration of B. Where exponents X and Y may or may not be equal to the stoichiometric coefficient. This stoichiometric coefficient X and Y may not be may or may not be equivalent to this stoichiometric coefficients. Okay. A and B of the reactants above equation can also be written as rate will be equal to concentration of A and B. So, here by the proportionality constant we are giving one constant called K. K is the proportionality constant called rate constant. The equation one which relates the rate of a reaction to concentration of reactants is called rate law or rate expression. So, minus dr means change in reaction concentration of reactant by unit time given to equal to k into concentration of A and concentration of B. This form of equation is called differential rate equation. Once again, whatever we will write in the modes that A, B, C and D in the small letter that will be stoichiometric equation that may and may not be equivalent to exponents which we have written in the rate expressions. Next, rate constant of a reaction. Rate constant is equal to the rate of reaction when the products of the molar concentration of reactants is unity. Rate constant is equal to a rate constant when products, molar concentration of reactant and products will come to unity. Rate reaction equation for this reaction will be rate equal to concentration of NO2 and concentration of O2. See here, whatever moles we have written here, it should be present in exponent form. The differential form of this rate expression is given as minus dr dt equal to k into concentration of NO and concentration of O. In the reactant side, whatever it is present, we have to write like this. Next, characteristics of rate constant. What are the characteristics of rate constant? It is a measure of rate of a reaction. Higher the value of k, greater is the rate of reaction. It is how much uh, rate of reaction is present that much will be the rate constant. Rate constant is nothing but k. If the higher the rate constant, greater will be the rate of reaction. A particular reaction has a definite value of k at a particular temperature. Sometimes at particular temperature, 
the rate of reaction will be having some significant properties okay the value of rate constant increases with increase in temperature it doesn't depend on does not depend on the initial concentration of reactant rate constant will not depend on initial concentration of reactant because their reaction only not yet started so it will not depend its units depend upon the overall order of a reaction about order of a reaction will be discussed in next coming session but you have to understand that rate of a reaction it will depend on order of reaction it will not depend on initial concentration of reactant and the value of rate constant increases with increase in temperature and also at a particular reaction some particular temperature can be seen and it is a measure of rate of reaction when rate constant is increased rate of a reaction will be increased these are the important characteristics of rate constant in the next session we'll discuss about order of a reaction types of reaction difference between order and molecularity units of rate constant and some of the numericals i hope you have understood completely whatever i have thought about chemical kinetics introduction and types of rate of a reaction so we'll meet in the next session thank you